Okay. Tell them we're starting. We're going to look for the eye. No, we're going to prove we don't need one. Because that's the point. Instead of struggling to find it, there's another approach. Prove we don't need it. It's a really interesting approach. I made it up. It's my special meditation. Okay. So the key word here is independent of the parts. Buddha is saying there's no I. It's independent of the parts. Whereas we think there is an I that is one of the parts. It's like a boss part, like the landlord, the puppeteer, the boss, the one that runs the show. But that's how we think every day. You know, we're the owner, the possessor, aren't we, of the parts? I have a hand. You know, I am, I am angry. So these words are very clear. But of course we don't question them. So we'll do a little analysis. Okay. So... I'm sure I did the same exercise last year. Okay. So if you look at my table, you're going to see I have a clock. So a vase of flowers. And a cup. Forget everything else. So I'll make a statement. Now this, in order to get clear about reality, this is the point the Buddha is making. It's extremely helpful that the thoughts that we express through words at the very least please be in sync with reality. And that's what he's saying. All the neurotic thoughts are wildly out of sync with reality. They exaggerate and distort reality. But we can't tell the difference. We don't know the difference. We, we can see. We, do not, we cannot tell the difference between the cake that is there and the cake that my attachment sees. We can see this. We can't tell the difference. So this mistake is even more subtle. The ego grasping is the subtlest mistake. Okay, so we make a simple statement. Conventional statement. I have a table, a clock, a cup, and a vase of flowers. Well, there's too many things. Three things. Enough. Don't worry, don't make it complicated. I have a clock, flowers, and a table. So we will all communicate reasonably when we all agree upon this statement, isn't it? Makes sense. <laughs> so the number of phenomena that I've mentioned is how many? I is one. Do we agree? Have a table, a clock, and flowers. So it's four phenomena. Would you agree? Four. Now the crucial point here is about the word independent. It's obvious that this is a statement of truth. It's reasonable to point out four separate independent phenomena. So for no independent means this. That, you know, I can put the clock away. My table works fine. My flowers are fine. And I can walk away. So we can see very simply these four are independent of each other insofar as they don't depend upon each other for their existence. Do they? 
This is, in this context, that's the meaning of independent. It's really voir, simple. On peut voir, et c'est très simple, que eh ben, toutes ces choses fonctionnent très bien de manière indépendante dans le sens où elles n'ont pas besoin des autres choses pour euh, fonctionner. Donc je peux enlever le réveil et les, les autres fonctionnent très bien. Et donc c'est en ce sens qu'on dit euh, indépendant. C'est très so, simple. So, there's a phenomenon called I. Donc il y a un phénomène qu'on appelle clock, le jeu. table, un autre flowers. Réveil, Four phenomena. Phénomène. Each of which is separate from, independent of the other. Chaque phénomène étant séparé des autres ou étant indépendant des autres. It's reasonable. C'est sensé. Okay. Well, I'll tell you that I have a nose, a hand, and a foot. Maintenant, si je vous dis que j'ai euh, un nez, une main et un pied. How many phenomena have I mentioned? Combien de phénomènes ai-je mentionné? Quoi? Quoi? Quatre. 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 Same, isn't it? So if this is so it is exactly the same. Conventionally, if this is a true statement, we have to be able to point out four phenomena that are independent of each other. So there's my foot. Cut it off. My hand will be fine. It's a fact. I'll still fait. pick up my tea with my hand. What did I say? My foot, my hand, and, my, and, then, and then, my, then my nose. So a nose is not a hand. Donc, le nez pas a nose can function separately from a hand. Le nez peut la main. And the foot can function separately from the, from the nose and the et, hand. Et le pied peut du nez et la main. So now obviously we have to find the fourth phenomenon. <coughs> Donc, maintenant, de manière évidente, il faut que nous... Which is, called the, which is called the eye. Le quatrième phénomène... And that phenomenon... Je. We have to also point out... Et ce phénomène, il faut that is not the hand... Qui n'est pas la main... Is not the foot... Qui n'est pas le pied... Is not the nose... Qui n'est pas le nez... And indeed, is not every other bit and bits and pieces that are here. Et, et que, en fait, il n'est aucun autre... Aucun autre... Now, speaking really simply... Sorry. Speaking very simply, this ego grasping in our mind causes us to believe that there is in here somewhere this separate, separate, independent I that is separate from independent from the nose, the hand, the foot and indeed all the other parts. Our language expresses that, and we totally believe that. And Buddha says, you don't need one. This is too shocking to our minds, isn't it? Because we can't hear the difference between the eye that does exist and the eye that doesn't. So as Rinpoche said, Donc, comme dit Rinpoche, oh, good, there is a separate eye. That's great. Well, the eye can stay at home while the body and mind go to work and you can sit and relax. <laughs> if there is a separate eye, si y a un jeu séparé, as well as the body and the mind, right? The body and the mind, would you agree the body and the mind are the main two parts of our, would you agree that our main parts are body and mind? We agree? Well, good, he says, good, body and mind can go to work. <laughs> and the eye can stay at home and relax. <laughs> if there is an eye that's not the body and the mind, which is what we think, we say the words, I have a hand. I have a hand. We're meaning there's an eye in there that owns a hand. Like there's an eye that owns a clock. This is true. There are two phenomena here, eye and clock. And we believe the same here. There's an eye in there somewhere and a hand. And an eye and anger. Et qui possède une main. And an et eye, and a, an eye that owns the toes. Et un jeu qui possède les doigts de pied. We believe it totally. On y croit, That's why we suffer, pour ça freak out, get depressed, déprime, blame, have panic attacks, blâme, anxiety. Des panic, des 
And this is not the subtlest mistake. <coughs> let's, let's do another, uh, take from this other perspective. Okay. It's always the same one. I should try my new stories, but we'll do this one. Uh, the, the name of this action is called I'm holding a cup in my right hand. Do we agree? Isn't it? Simple, isn't it? So let's say I've forgotten how to do it. You've got to train me, isn't it? It's got to be a lot of training. Because I've really forgotten everything. Like I've got, I've had, you know, I've had to learn everything again. So you're going to start to write down all the instructions, aren't you? <laughs> of the different parts of Rabina, and all the roles they have to play, to accomplish this simple action called Rabina holding a cup in her right hand. Pour accomplir cette action toute simple qu'on va appeler Robina tenant une tasse de sa main droite. C'est vrai, non Il y a quite a long list. I mean, talk about IKEA. Et il y a une, une liste plutôt longue. On ne parle pas d'IKEA, mais. Il y a une longue liste de toutes les parties du corps. Et on, on aurait une longue liste de toutes les yeah. parties du corps. So your little finger has to do this, and the middle, the ring finger this, and the middle finger this, and the joint there, and the this there, and the wrist this one, and that muscle this one, and the elbow there. I mean, the number of parts you would have to list exactly the function of each. Hear the words I'm saying, like writing the plan for a, a building. Every single screw, every piece of wood, you'd have to be very exact, wouldn't you? Get my point. Donc, si vous deviez me réapprendre comment faire cela, et euh, comprenez ce que je veux dire, et vous imaginez la liste de tout ce qu'il faudrait euh, lister, euh, l'annulaire qui fait ça, l'index qui fait ça, le pouce qui fait ça, le poignet qui fait ça, le coude, l'épaule, et euh, exactement de la même manière que si vous deviez you've, you've alors, dessiner le plan d'un bâtiment que vous devez construire, et vous deviez euh, lister la moindre vie... Just like building a building, you can't just be vague, you know, put 42 nails, it'll stand up. No, you've got to know exactly the thumb this way, exactly the finger that way, exactly the ligaments, and this one and the muscles. You have to be really precise, isn't it? To be really accurate. To be hundreds of parts, all having a playing a role. Would we agree with this statement? Mm. Okay, now, let's look at the, the second... The, 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 the main player in this is obviously the mind. Clearly, if this were a dead body, you'd be having serious trouble getting it to hold a cup. Now let's look at all the parts of the mind and the roles they have to play. I mean, there are going to be hundreds of the parts of your sense, my sensory consciousness. My eye consciousness has to be working well. My tactile consciousness. Maybe my nose won't play a role. My ears won't. My ears have to listen to your instructions. Yeah. Each of these parts of my sensory consciousness will be playing a role. Do you, do you accept? Then the crucial players are going to be the thoughts. And they're the they're the parts or the components of my mental consciousness. And there's so many of these. One, the first one is discrimination. Every second, working out exactly what's that, this, that, it's, you know, it's like this very part of the mind that's got to be functioning, exactly seeing, the, knowing the thumb is there, which is here and there is there. It's a really constant one that you have to be working away. It's many, many moments of discrimination. Et à chaque seconde, et il faut savoir exactement quelle partie doit jouer tel rôle, et l'index doit être ici, le ligament ici, etc. Et donc, à chaque seconde, et euh, cette discrimination... Euh, There's attention. Paying attention. 
Every moment, many moments of attention, many moments of mindfulness, which is not forgetfulness, otherwise I'll drop the cup. One called, there's one called vigilance, that's watching that everything's working beautifully together. One called concentration, many different states of mind. Each with their own specific role. Now, because we know this is an this is analysis, like we know we do all, we see we do it all automatically because we've trained ourselves, haven't we? It's instinctive now that we do this. But because I've lost my memory, you've got to write it all down for me. So you you, you have to go to go backwards in the process and articulate each of the pieces and the role. Each of the parts plays specifically to get the total experience called Rabina holding her cup in her right hand. We agree. We agree with this process, right? And I've just mentioned a few of the mind. But are we, are we getting the point? Are we getting the point here, right? Do we, and do we agree with this analysis so far? Okay. So now, the, the main player here in the mind, the main one in the mind, the main thought, is intention. And that's, I will hold the cup. And indeed, because I've got to make an effort, I will not give up. I will, it, intention, intention, all the time. Countless moments of intention. <coughs> so now, all these bits and pieces of the mind and all these bits and pieces of the body working beautifully together to, 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 to produce the experience called holding a cup in my right hand. Okay? Clear? Clear. <laughs> Maintenant, il y a toutes ces pièces, ces morceaux, ces parties qu'on a mentionnées qui vont travailler toutes harmonieusement et pour arriver à cette expérience de euh, Robina tenant sa tasse. Now the question. Maintenant, la question suivante. What role, Quel rôle is left over est oublié that has not been done yet qui n'est pas été déjà fait by all the other parts par toutes les autres parties would a, a part called I have left to do quel rôle resterait-il à une partie qui serait appelée le jeu huh? Any ideas what, what, what's, what's been left out qu est, qu est What role hasn't been taken Quel rôle n'a pas été pris par un autre de ces euh, facteurs ou de ces... What role would the part called I do that we believe totally is there doing <laughs> What role would it have Quel rôle aurait le jeu dans cette euh, expérience et euh, ce jeu dont nous croyons totalement qu'il est là. But that's a state of mind. Non, l'intention, c'est un We état mentioned it. Yeah, On it's a state dit, of mind. C'est un état d'esprit. It can't be both. Donc, ça peut pas être à la fois... It's either, uh, there's either an I there or it's a state of mind. So we've said it's a state of mind called Soit intention. That's the boss. If you want to find a boss, it's called intention. Soit But it's a part of the mind. It's not separate. Soit l'intention est le jeu, soit l'intention est un état d'esprit. Mais ça peut pas être les deux à la fois... Donc effectivement, si vous voulez trouver le, le boss dans tous ces facteurs mentaux, c'est l'intention. But we think, we all know, we think there is an I that even runs intention, that runs it all, keeps it all together, and that's the that's the creator role. <laughs> that's the same in the universe. We believe there's the role, and Buddha's saying we don't need a creator either, because sentient beings do their own work. We create our own suffering. We don't need to be punished or rewarded. It's a dualistic view. So this idea of a separate I or a separate creator is a dualistic projection that we have made up. Mais nous savons tous et que nous avons cette projection et d'un d'un jeu qui et aurait cette intention qui est un jeu qui dirigerait l'intention mais tout ça c'est exactement le même modèle que le modèle par rapport à l'univers quand on pense à un créateur et dans le, les deux cas il y a cette vue dualiste And all the Buddha's views, all the way to the Prasangika Majjhimika, they say there is something. There has to be something. Otherwise, they think it's nihilistic. Mm. 
et affirment toutes l'existence d'un « je » séparé et disent toutes que sinon on tomberait dans le nihilisme. They even say it's something in the mind. Each of the schools posit something slightly different. Et bon, chacune de ces écoles affirme l'existence de quelque chose d'un petit peu différent des autres, mais et, et elles disent toutes plus ou moins qu'il y a quelque chose dans le dans l'esprit. So the present Giga Majamika view, which is the one that Lama Zopa Rinpoche, for example, only ever talks about. Et la vue Madhyamika Prasangika, qui est la seule dont Lama Zopa Rinpoche par exemple says, parle, dit, says. From the side of the eye, du côté du jeu, the general package here, donc ce est assemblage général ici, hein, there is not one atom il a pas un atome of anything de quoi que ce soit that makes it that eye. Qui le fasse que ce soit From the side of these parts, du côté de ces parties, there is nothing. Il a rien, there's nothing. Il a rien, that's inherent, nothing that's independent. And this is the subtlest meaning now, the subtlest one. There's nothing from the side of the eye, from the side of the parts, the base. That's independent of, forget the parts, but not even, also independent even of the mind calling it that. But we don't even need to go to... But don't even go to that one yet. Just stick to the parts. Bon, It's already tasty. So when we start to think about there's no I in there among the parts, we then kind of a, a sneaky relief comes up and says, oh, well, at least there are the parts. But then this, this, this view says no. Mais dans la vue suivante, on va dire because from the side of the parts, du côté des parties, because, okay, I, okay, I, parce que, is me, this is the subtlest one, I, jeu, là, on, on passe à la vue la plus is, is this name le jeu, ce nom that we give que nous donnons, that's based upon the parts, et sur la base des parties, that's imputed upon the parts. Qui est imputé sur les parties. They go, oh, phew, there are parts. Et donc là, on va dire, oh, il y a des parties. No. Hand is a name imputed by the mind upon its parts. Oh, got fingers then, have we? No, no, no. Fingers is a name imputed by the mind upon its parts. And you'll keep going like that. Smoke and mirrors. That's why Lama Zopa says when you realize this absence of inherent eye or inherent finger or inherent anything, inherent here meaning independent of anything, including the mind calling it that, once we've realized that, it's as if there's no I. But there is. Dependent arising. Merely labeled. But what does exist, merely labeled, It's so subtle. It's as if it doesn't. So that's why I know in English, I don't know if you say it in French, it's all smoke and mirrors. How they talk about magicians, smoke and mirrors, conjuring images and things with smoke and mirrors. You don't have that in French? You don't have that in French? Yeah, they say like magicians, you know. That's what they say. That's what they say in, in the, the Buddhist ones, like an illusion. Not an illusion, like an illusion. Yeah. So, so Tsongkhapa says, in his one wonderful short Lam Rim prayer called Hymns of Experience, So when you've got, you know, when you, when you've combined calm abiding and special insight in your meditation, you, you're absorbed in emptiness. And then in daily life, you go around um, realizing that even though nothing has any inherent existence. Separate from the minds that believe in them, nevertheless, they still function. 
les choses fonctionnent comme exactly as established. Exactement comme elles ont été établies. That's why you got to first establish something that exists and what the definition is. C'est pour ça qu'il nous faut d'abord établir qu'est-ce que qu'est-ce qui existe et quelle Because définition. Because as soon as we hear there's nothing from its own side. Parce que dès qu'on entend qu'il n'y a rien de son propre côté. It's like anything anything goes. Et c'est comme si pour nous tout est no. From on the one side. The There's not one atom côté, of a, anything a pas, existing from the side of the cup. Not one atom. Pas un atom. But you cannot deny Vous pouvez pas nier. it still holds my bloody tea. <laughs> que cette tasse con, mon That's the practical fact. Get out of the sky, come down to earth. You, you still drink your tea, you can't deny it. So we've got to put these two seeming contradictions together. If the, part, the parts one is already, forget that, that's even more subtle. The parts one is such a helpful exercise. Et l'exercice en considérant les parties est incroyablement subtil. I mean, we don't have a feeling of thinking there's no inherent, there's no merely labeled, there's a merely labeled eye, but the one that there's a separate eye that bosses around the other parts, that is the boss that does this and is that and hates this and loves this and wants this, that's a very real feeling for us. Parce que peut-être que nous pouvons ressentir quelque chose quant à l'existence d'un jeu simplement imputé, mais quant au fait que nous ressentions l'existence d'un jeu parmi les parties qui soit le boss et qui et c'est très réel pour nous. I mean the feeling of that eye as the owner. Et cette sensation de ce jeu présent là comme you know, le possesseur. When so like you know like you know you cut your hand. Comme si vous vous coupez la main. With this shock. Il y a ce shock. That my my finger. There's an eye that owns a finger. Intérieur et que de il y a cette sensation du jeu you know, et à qui appartient ce doigt. Oh, you see a mos. Oh, you see a mosquito. Vous voyez un moustique. Taking one tiny, tiny, as Rumiche puts it, drop of my precious blood. Et qui euh, vous prend une toute toute petite goutte, comme le dit euh, Ricoché, de mon sang précieux. I mean, even his eye with my eyes, even looking, there's my finger. Gay, get off my finger, you know. It looks like it's separate, even, doesn't it? There's an eye here and a finger there. Et, et, et donc, euh, simplement, <coughs> en regardant euh, cela, c'est comme si il euh, y avait mon jeu qui regardait là mon, mon doigt. That's why that lovely story I always tell of Lama Zabramche when he's a little boy. Et il y a cette euh, et, euh, histoire si jolie de la base de Paris Poché quand il était petit garçon. He, as you know, he was recognized as a little boy as the reincarnation of the Laudo Lama, the previous yogi up in the mountains. Et donc, comme vous le savez, et euh, petit garçon, il avait été reconnu comme étant la réincarnation du Lama de la Wudo, donc un yogi. He was Kunsang Yeshe, he was a Nyingma yogi. Et donc, il s'appelait Kunsang Yeshe, c'était un, un yogi Nyingma. And, um, it seemed he organized his next rebirth, as they do these yogis. And his sister said from the time he was born, or the time he could crawl, you know, Maman would turn her back. And there's little Zopa crawling up the mountain. Back to where they know, to, well, to where they know the cave of the previous yogi was. And from the time he could talk, you know, he'd be tracing, walking up that hill. Et il euh, n'a pas arrêté de harceler tout le monde. She'd drag him home. Qu'on l'emmène ou il essayait de partir. No, that is my home, he'd say. Et euh, on était obligé de le ramener vers la maison. Il disait non, c'est là où ma maison. So they say these little reincarnated llamas have complete control over where they're going to get born, so they don't lose the plot. You know, they know exactly who they are. Et donc, bon, il est dit que ces llamas réincarnés ont un contrôle complet de l'endroit où ils vont prendre naissance, donc ils ne perdent pas le fil. And so his sister said, all the games he played, he always played the role of a llama. Et sa sœur raconte que quand il jouait avec d'autres enfants tout seul, toujours il avait le rôle du llama. He'd have pujas. 
And he'd make mud pie dojis and mud pie bells. And he would he would he would he would give the list of his benefactors and say that they were coming for the puja. It was his past life benefactors. So mummy decided she better check with the local lamas who he was. So they seemed to verify that he was the reincarnation of the Lado Lama. The, the, he's the radish lama. He, apparently he moved into this little cave where they used to store radishes. He pulled them out and moved in. So he's in the radish lama. Et donc, euh, il semble qu'à ce moment-là, donc, ils aient découvert, ont vérifié qu'il était bien la réincarnation de ce lama de la Wudo, qui était des, appelé aussi euh, et le, le lama des radis, euh, parce que, en fait, quand il avait emménagé dans cette grotte, c'était une grotte où étaient euh, stockés des... Or oh, onions, I can't remember. Onions or radishes, I can't remember. Des oignons, des radishes, je ne sais plus. Anyway, point is, when he was about eight... Et le, l'histoire, c'est que quand il a eu 8 ans... He'd been handed over to the monastery. Et donc, il a été confié au monastère. He was with his manager... Et donc, il était avec son manager, up in this mountain monastery donc, euh, dans la montagne, dans ce de and on the other side of this very big river et de côté, il y avait cette rivière, all these strange people et avec tous ces, euh, ces bizarres, would have been about 1954 ça être en, vers 1954. pale faces avec des pâles, pale eyes des yeux pâles, straw colored hair des, des blonds, white people He never met white people before. Anyway, he wanted to meet them. And he got his bowl of potatoes. And across this rickety bridge. And he fell in. They don't teach them swimming up there. They don't teach them swimming up there. <laughs> so anyway, this is his, his depiction of the, this is what he said. This is... 20 years ago, he told the story. He said, huh, huh, the thought occurred to me. Oh, no, first of all, he said, the head, the head kept coming up to the surface for air. And he could see his manager running on the bank, freaking out. Et donc, il pouvait voir son manager qui courait sur le rive de la rivière. And then he said, affolé, to himself, et, et ensuite, et donc, la Mazopa s'est dit à lui-même, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the person known as the Laudo Lama is about to die. La personne qui est connue sous le nom du Lama de la Boulot et va bientôt mourir. And then he said, et ensuite, il I didn't know anything about emptiness. Je ne savais rien de la vacuité. But there was no fear. Mais il n'y avait pas de peur. To all of that way he spoke Et donc, tout au long du récit de cette histoire, is the indication that he had the realization of emptiness. That's exactly how a person who has realized the absence of the inherent I talks and behaves. One of the really perfect ways to get used to this idea that this is not I. Is the per- I am the person known as Rubina. So of course you don't go around talking like this. People tell you to shut up. But for yourself. <laughs> Not my head. I'm drowning. No, 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 the person known as the Lao Lama. The head of the person known as the Lao Lama. And that's why when you read in the, in, the, in the Tibetan literature, they talk about anger does this, and jealousy does that, and love does this, and compassion does that. We go, my love and my compassion. It, we're so personal about it, which increases the grasping, you know. So it's a really good exercise to think like this. Et uh, la, la façon dans la littérature et uh, bouddhiste, et c'est euh, intéressant quand on parle de l'amour fait cela, la jalousie fait cela. Alors que nous, à chaque fois que nous en parlé d'amour, de jalousie, de compassion, de, et on va dire mon amour, ma compassion, ma jalousie. Donc à chaque fois, on en fait quelque chose de très personnel, ce qui ne fait qu'accroître notre saisie de l'ego. Mais le point de no fear est quite shocking pour nous. 
You know, Mr. Darwin, wasn't it? Who, 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 who said about the business of uh, instinct for survival? Who's that, Mr. Darwin? Qui a inventé l'idée d'instinct de survie? Or Mr. Whoever he was, which clever scientist? Huh? Instinct for survival. L'instinct de survie. Nobody knows. Really? No, darling, no, no. Instinct for survival. Instinct for survival, this primordial fear that freaks out when you're attacked or offended and you panic and they say we must have this instinct for survival, otherwise we, we would, you know, in other words, Lama Zopa has to have had this instinct for survival which causes you to have a panic attack and realise you're, you're drowning and that fear is what makes you survive. That's the view. That's called instinct for survival. Well, Buddha would call that ego grasping. That's the point. Le, le scientifique qui a inventé ce concept d'instinct de survie et qui euh, et ce scientifique euh, de, qui dit euh, que il faut qu'on ait cet instinct de survie parce que il faut qu'il y ait cet accès de panique au moment par exemple où on va se noyer qui va faire qu'on va tout faire pour pour pour, pour survivre et, et donc euh, le scientifique en parle comme instinct de survie le, le Bouddha lui il parlerait simplement de ses idéaux euh, c'est toute l'idée so we assume that's a normal part of a person, that if you didn't have it, Lama Zopa would sort of sink to the bottom of the river going, oh, well, I'm drowning. <laughs> so when there's no longer... Any grasping at the eye, let's, let's assume Rinpoche was like that. Let's say it's true. He didn't have an eye. He didn't. He understood emptiness. It was natural within him because he'd realised it in past lives. Then he, he's actually when you haven't got fear. Not. On the contrary, it isn't that you need the fear to see what's going on, which makes you then survive. You see things more clearly when you haven't got fear. Et en fait, c'est le contraire. C'est pas que vous voyez mieux les choses quand vous avez la peur. Vous allez bien sûr voir les choses plus clairement quand vous n'avez pas de peur. So what you would have seen is a little boy gasping for air, looking like he was, you know, <gasps> like this because he can't swim. Et donc, ce que vous auriez vu si vous aviez été sur la berge, ben, vous auriez vu un petit garçon essayant de it's perfectly reasonable to, you know, to, to attempt to get out of the water. But as he said, there was no fear. So try and imagine that. <coughs> He's observing as if he were working on the street, seeing things clearly when his mind is calm. That's how his mind would have been. Okay. If you're walking down the street peaceful, if you're driving down the road peaceful and there's no one attacking you and suddenly a car comes in front, one minute you're peaceful, next minute you're having a complete panic attack, isn't it? The heart suddenly beats, you're freaking out, the, you know, you're, you're panicking and you stop over the side of the road, you're really faint, isn't it, because of the shock. That's because of ego grasping. We think it's natural, it's called the instinct of survival. It's called ego grasping. Et donc, euh, prenons un autre exemple. Si nous, euh, nous sommes en train de marcher au bord de la route, ou peut-être de traverser la route, et qu'il y a une voiture qui arrive et qui manque de nous renverser, immédiatement, il y a cet accès de, de panique hein, et, nous, et qui va faire que nous allons bondir, mais avec cette peur à l'intérieur, hein, nous, nous allons penser que c'est l'instinct de survie, hein, et c'est bien, mais le Bouddha nous dit que c'est... So he was observing as clearly as if he were walking down the street peacefully what was going on. Mais lui, la masse pas, eh ben, c'est comme si, si ça avait été marché paisiblement dans la rue et tout d'un coup euh, avoir cette voiture. There was no rising of the panic-stricken eye. Il, il, il voyait simplement toujours aussi paisiblement et calmement les choses. Il n'y avait pas de euh, survenue d'un sens du jeu. Because he did, he did no longer believe in a fantasy eye. Et parce qu'il ne croyait plus à ce jeu illusionné. Okay, whatever. Yeah. So he, therefore, his mind was clear. This is hard for us to imagine. Because when we're attacked, offended, insulted, nearly run over, the smallest insult, we have a panic attack, don't we? And the thing is, in Buddhist psychology. 
People often ask, where's fear? They don't see it in the lists. That's because fear is the nature of all the delusions. C'est parce que la peur est de la nature de toutes les délusions, toutes les pensées perturbatrices. This is literally the suffering of samsara. Et c'est littéralement la souffrance du samsara. The, na the nature of the ego grasping is the one that's most most prim primordial. La, la saisie de l'ego et la pensée perturbatrice la plus primordiale. You know, when you nearly run over by the car. Donc quand vous êtes quasiment par When a shocking thing happens. Ou que quelque chose de choquant arrive. I mean, look at the stress. I mean, we we talk all these words we use in modern psychology for the for the for the aftermath of that. Et regardez le le stress et euh, que euh, de tous ces mots qu'on utilise dans la psychologie moderne pour les. That's because of ego grasping, because we believe in the I. Et c'est à cause de la saisie d'ego parce que nous croyons en un jeu. Attachment is the main 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 voice of the ego grasping. L'attachement est la voix principale de la saisie. Look when the when when you're in the full blown bliss of attachment in love with your divine new boyfriend. Et regardez euh, quand vous êtes dans la félicité complètement épanouie euh, de euh, parce que vous venez tomber amoureux de votre nouvel nouveau petit ami. And he dies on you or leaves you. Beyond shattered, huh? Et donc vous êtes totalement brisé. That's because of ego grasping. Bah ça c'est à cause de la saisie d'ego. People go mad. Les, That les man gens, in prison. Les gens deviennent fous comme ce type en prison. Who raged prison, every day. Qui était en rage. I did not rape and kill that woman. Je n'ai pas violé et tué cette femme. He went mad. Il, il, a, il est devenu fou. That's because of ego grasping. Bah ça c'est à cause de la saisie d'ego. We think it's normal. Buddha says it's serious, the most nightmarish mental illnesses, and he calls it samsara. So as when Rimeche, so as Rimeche says, when you realize emptiness, there is no fear. It's really simple. This is like inconceivable in our culture. Et c'est pour ça que Rinpoche nous dit que quand vous réalisez la vacuité, il n'y a plus de peur, il n'y a pas de peur. Mais ça, dans notre culture, c'est inconcevable. So ego grasping is the main delusion. Donc la saisie de l'ego et la délusion, la pensée perturbée, the most primordial, principale, la plus primordiale, the most shocking, la plus choquante, the most fear-based, et la plus basée sur la peur. And then all the other delusions are just the, the branches. Yeah. So when you cut the belief in the eye, there is no fear. The mind is clear and blissful. And if you drown, you drown. If you don't drown, you don't drown. I don't mean in a, neg in a kind of neutral way. Well, we find it hard to conceive of. Is in traumatic experiences like that how the mind can be staying peaceful and clear. We think that would be mental illness. So look forward to realizing emptiness. Anticipate happily. Donc, anticipez avec joie votre réalisation à venir de la vacuité. Quelle heure est-ce que c'est Oh Il nous reste 30 minutes. Il nous reste 30 minutes. Est-ce que vous avez des questions Oui, là-bas. Est-ce que vous avez des questions Oui, vous dites que l'esprit n'est pas neutre quand même. Euh, quand euh, une personne qui a réalisé la vacuité va euh, voir qu'il va mourir. Euh, il est comment alors l'esprit à ce moment-là You said that the mind is not neutral. When well, I didn't say that. What? What? Est-ce que j'ai dit que l'esprit n'est pas neutre Oui. What? C'est ce que j'ai entendu. Je... What did you say? <laughs> This is what uh, quand, he heard. Uh, quand une quand une personne qui a réalisé la vacuité euh, à le risque de mourir. Vous avez dit, son esprit n'est pas non plus neutre. Il n'a pas peur, mais... C'est très différent. Je pas dit qu'il est... Je pas dit qu'il est... Je n'ai pas dit qu'il est... Je 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 pas dit qu'il
Il y a une grande différence. Il n'y a, a que clarity. de la vertu et de la sagesse qui soient présentes dans cette discussion. No choice. Il n'y a pas de choix. Ce n'est pas neutre, ça. That's clarity. Ça, c'est la clarté. Can you hear the difference? Est-ce que tu entends la différence? Hein? Mm-hmm. What's your problem? <laughs> Je crois. <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> Have you recognized panic and misery and attack and oh my God and heart beating fast and it's not fair and how dare she say that to me, etc. Do you recognize those level of emotions? Est-ce que tu reconnais les niveaux d'émotions suivants d'être pris de panique et de partir Jealous, de depressed, unhappy, de fearful. Malheureux, yeah. Peur, you recognize those. Tu reconnais ces états d'esprit. Bien sûr. Quoi Bien sûr, bien sûr. Good, oui. thank you. Do you recognize patience and clarity and, 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 and analysis and stability and kindness and generosity Est-ce que tu reconnais la patience, la clarté, la générosité, etc. You recognize those in your mind. Ces états d'esprit également. Oui, aussi, oui. Good, okay. Well, can you try and imagine not having any of the rubbish That's all. No fear, no drama, no panic, no, 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 no attacks, no nervous. Clarity. Clarity, seeing what's going on, super focused, working out how to get out of the water, mind not disturbed. Neutral means like, oh, nothing. Et donc, est-ce que tu peux imaginer un état où ton esprit soit complètement débarrassé de, tout, de toutes les choses mauvaises, de, tout, de, la, de la panique, de la peur, etc., etc., et où il y ait simplement clarté, focus, où l'esprit sache ce qui est en train de se passer, puisse prendre les décisions, etc.? Are we communicating a bit better now? Oui, oui, oui. <laughs> Is that your question? Je, je c'est pas, pas un esprit neutre à ce moment-là. Was that just the beginning of your question or that's the question? Est-ce que c'est juste le début de ta question ou est-ce que c'était la question elle-même? Non, non, c'était bien la question. Oui. Non, question. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So it's hard for us to imagine because we think this is so natural. C'est dur pour nous d'imaginer ça parce qu'on pense que c'est si naturel. Meaning, you'd be unnatural if you didn't have panic and fear and worries and drama and anxiety and jealousy and depression and low self-esteem and attachment. Sous-entendu que ce serait pas naturel de ne pas avoir eh bien, le, les drames et la peur et la panique et la dépression et la mauvaise estime de soi et la jalousie, etc. Isn't it? Non That's what we call normal. And all our models of the mind would say that. And science says that. Everything in our world reinforces this view that all that stuff is natural. Parce que, et c'est ça que nous appelons normal. Et tout dans notre monde, et la science même, ré, renforce cette... That's religion. what Buddha means by being in samsara. It's what he means by samsara. There's some holy place. Mais just his ça, term for it. C'est, c'est ça que le Bouddha veut dire quand il parle de samsara. Samsara, c'est pas un endroit euh, là-bas... Euh, et, euh, being driven by being run by these neuroses c'est simplement le fait d'être régi d'être gouverné par ces neuroses to whatever degree quel qu'en soit la mesure le degré mm. and the degree of subtlety of these delusions is quite shocking et le degré de subtilité uh, of, of the, the degree of subtlety of these delusions et le, le degré de subtilité de toutes ces délusions ces pensées perturbatrices and was and always way to go before we really cut the root which is realizing emptiness et, et, et choquant, donc en d'autres mots, ça veut dire qu'il bah, y a du chemin à faire avant d'arriver à couper la racine. This is why when you hear statements like this one, it's quite shocking. Et c'est pourquoi quand on entend des affirmations comme celles qu'on vient de faire... When my friends in prison would write to Lama Zopa. Pour, pour nous, c'est plutôt choquant. Comme mon ami en prison qui euh, écrivait à Lama Zopa... You know, so one prisoner, for example, in this kind of nightmarish environment where he's in his little cell, 23 hours a day, noise like living in a rock concert all day, food disgusting, 10 books, living with just insane people, like a nightmare, like hell on earth every day. That would be pretty intense, right donc, euh, par exemple, et euh, cet euh, ami euh, qui a été euh, 23 heures sur 24 dans une toute petite cellule à, à, à l'isolement, avec un, un bruit dans l'environnement, mais euh, c'est comme d'être euh, au milieu d'un concert de rock euh, toute la journée, euh, et euh, de la nourriture absolument euh, et infecte, seulement euh, 10 livres, et euh, des euh, compagnons autour de lui complètement fous, euh, dément, euh, et donc, comme vivre dans un enfer. So Rumeche said to him, your prison is nothing in comparison with the inner prison of ordinary people. And that's us, okay? Not the crazies out in the world. Us. Et Rinpoche lui a dit, ta prison n'est rien à côté de la prison... The inner prison of ordinary people. Intérieure des gens ordinaires. The prison of attachment. The prison of anger. Anxiety. 
depression, jealousy, ordinary. This is too shocking for our minds. This is too shocking to hear. We don't even think we're suffering at all. This is hard to hear. Equally hard to hear. My friend Jane Seidlitz told me that Rinpoche said this years ago. That if just for a few moments we could have the direct experience of the mind of our cute little doggy woggy. Nous pouvions avoir l'expérience mentale de que qu'a notre joli petit chien. The suffering, the mental suffering would be so unbearable. <laughs> we couldn't wish, we wouldn't wish to waste, we wouldn't want to sleep again to waste this precious human life. Now that's inconceivable to us. We don't see that level of suffering. La, la souffrance mentale serait si insupportable que nous ne voudrions plus jamais dormir pour ne pas perdre une seconde de cette précieuse vie humaine. Mais ça, c'est impensable pour nous. In other words, we're so, even though we are, you know, relatively speaking, we're really nice people. En, en autre mot, même si euh, pour parler de manière relative, nous sommes des gens plutôt bons. Except the degree of the depth of the suffering of these delusions, even in our minds, that's the inner prison Rimeche is talking about, that is worse in this prison of, the, of this young man, you know. I mean, this is hard to hear. It sounds so dramatic. But this all this indicates is how little we are conscious of our minds, how unaware we are of the depth of our own delusions. Not to make us depressed. It should give us encouragement. Le, le degré, la profondeur de nos propres délusions, nos propres pensées perturbatrices, hein, et euh, ne, nous euh, n'arrivons tellement pas à le voir, euh, c'est de ça dont Ricochet parle quand il parle de la prison intérieure de nos délusions de pensées perturbatrices. Hein. And therefore, what, what's implied here in Buddha's saying that we can be utterly free of these delusions is the level of joy and bliss and clarity that we are capable of, that's waiting for us to discover in our own minds. It just sounds like religion to us, you know. But it's Buddha's talking. Is Buddha's talking psychologically? Basically, he says the nature of our mind is is when when it's even temporarily, even in concentration meditation, temporarily. Those who've got some level of focus doing calm abiding, even in concentration meditation, temporarily, you can have such bliss that would be inconceivable. En fait, il est dit que même en ne pratiquant que la méditation et de concentration en un point, le niveau de félicité qu'on peut obtenir à certains niveaux est totalement inconcevable, même si ce n'est que pour une période temporaire. Venerable René, un Swiss friend. Et le Venerable René, un de nos amis suisses. Professional meditator of 35, 40 years. Donc, méditant professionnel depuis 30, 40 ans. I interviewed him in Mandela magazine when I, when I edited it in 1905. And he told me about one of his 18-month retreats at Ursaling in, in Spain. So he was in a serious single point of concentration meditation technique, um, a, a, a retreat. Et donc, il faisait une retraite vraiment sérieuse de concentration contre un point. Mm. And it's described in the text in terms of nine stages of development. Et qui est décrit cette pratique dans les textes comme ayant neuf niveaux de développement. So he said he just maybe just touched upon the fifth of the nine stages in that 18 months. Et donc il racontait que il avait probablement simplement effleuré le cinquième niveau de ces. Now that already indicates a much subtler level of consciousness than we'd normally ever experience. Et ce qui indique déjà qu'il avait accès à un niveau beaucoup plus subtil d'expérience que ce dont nous ne nous frontons. Where to some degree the sensory consciousnesses and certainly the grosser conceptuality have subdued. 
ou à un certain degré, dans une certaine mesure, les consciences sensorielles et les conceptualités les plus grossières se sont déjà un peu dissoutes. Et en d'autres termes, il avait l'accès à des niveaux beaucoup plus subtils de son esprit que dont dans notre culture, on ne soupçonne même pas l'existence. Et like this. Et donc René a dit quelque chose. Il a dit, je oublie les mots, la bliss, la joie que j'ai expérimenté dans ma mind. J'ai oublié les mots exacts, mais il disait que la félicité et la joie dont il avait fait l'expérience was infinitely superior to any joy I'd ever experienced through my senses. Était infiniment supérieur à toute joie dont j'avais pu faire l'expérience dans le passé à travers mes sens. And this is the simple practical point that Buddha has is making that he has found from his own experience coming from these amazing Indians and their marvelous. They're the ones who created these techniques 500 years before the Buddha. Et, et ça, ça, ça correspond à ce petit point euh, simple et que le Bouddha dit avoir découvert et grâce à ces techniques euh, qui venaient de ces euh, Indiens euh, et euh, Yogi Indien étonnant qui avait vécu encore. Euh, so even to some degree, when the mind is is gone beyond the grosser levels of conceptuality and sensory, which again, as I said, we don't even posit as existing in our culture. Et donc, dans une certaine mesure, un certain degré. Euh, et quand l'esprit va au-delà de ces niveaux sensoriels et conceptuels grossiers, de just naturally, le seul dont nous affirmions les just naturally, à ce moment-là, simplement naturellement, the mind is blissful and joyful. L'esprit est rempli de félicité et de joie. Because delusions are temporarily subdued. Parce It's so simple. Les délusions, les pensées perturbatrices, et ben temporairement, et euh, se sont euh, évanouies. Of course, that's the calm abiding and eventually the, the samadhi that the Hindus talk about. Sûr, when you've accomplished it totally. Du calme et des, euh, dont les nous parlé. And you can be forgiven for thinking it's liberation. It's so amazing. But you haven't gone far enough yet, Buddha says. Mais le Bouddha nous dit que là, on n'est pas encore allé assez loin. You now use this laser-like blissful state of mind. Parce que maintenant, vous allez utiliser ces états d'esprit euh, pleins de félicité et euh, euh, comme des lasers, en fait. In the second mode of meditation. Ah, avec le second mode de méditation. We need to get insight into emptiness. Où là, vous pouvez obtenir une vue pénétrante de la vacuité. That's where you do all the unpacking and unraveling. Et c'est là que vous allez tout euh, déballer. And the unbelievably sophisticated subtle analysis. Avec cette euh, analyse incroyablement sophistiquée. Including in, 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 in utilizing incredible logic. Et en utilisant une logique incroyable. Hein, to deconstruct all the nonsense, all the misconceptions. Pour déconstruire tous les non-sens, toutes les conceptions erronées. And eventually have one's first direct non-conceptual insight. Et finalement avoir un premier euh, instant de euh, vue euh, euh, non conceptuelle, hein? de vue profonde. Into the shocking truth dans cette vérité choquante of the absence de l'absence of that I de ce jeu that we have believed in since beginningless time auquel nous avons cru depuis les temps that has never existed mais qui n'a jamais existé doesn't exist n'existe pas and could never So as Rinpoche says, the, 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 the advanced yogis have incredible fear. Fear like you've never known. And it's a good sign. But the really advanced yogis, absolute bliss. They've finally seen the truth. Yeah. So slowly, slowly, one step at a time. That'll do. Don't you think? <laughs> Unless you got some questions before we have dinner. Hmm. Microphone ici, s'il vous plaît. Some, we have some question online oh. to Bubina. Okay, go. Which one you prefer? Whatever you like, you're there, so do it. Je la traduis, euh, je la lis en anglais en plusieurs fois, François, parce qu'elle est longue. Why must be samsara that painful? When I imagine slaughteries or raped children, it is hard to accept it's their fault. Oh, okay, go. Pourquoi est-ce que le samsara est si euh, douloureux quand j'imagine des enfants euh, massacrés ou violés euh, Well, first, there's two separate points there, isn't it? Bon, 
y a deux idées différentes. Hein. Why is samsara so painful? Pourquoi le samsara est-il si douloureux? Well, because we have delusions. Parce que nous avons des délusions. We nous make it painful. Donc c'est nous qui rendons le samsara douloureux. And of course, we, it's hard for us to imagine. We see little innocent children suffering. Et bien sûr, c'est dur pour nous d'imaginer quand nous voyons de petits enfants innocents souffrir. But if that shocks you, si ça vous choque, then equally it should shock you. Et ça devrait vous choquer de la même And you see some beautiful child quand vous voyez un, un bel enfant with a beautiful mummy avec une belle, une, and beautiful daddy une mère et un père and lovely food de la bonne nourriture, living in a nice house et vivant dans une with maison, lovely friends avec de bons amis, and kind teachers et de, de maîtres, and a beautiful house une belle maison, and lovely weather et un, une bonne météo, that should shock us as well. Mais ça devrait également vous choquer. But we only ever wonder why bad things happen. Mais nous, nous nous demandons Simplement, nous ne demandons jamais autre chose. We que never, 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 never ask why the good things happen. Only the bad. Nous ne posons jamais, 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 jamais la question de pourquoi les bonnes choses arrivent. Nous ne demandons que pourquoi les mauvaises choses arrivent. Which is the irony of ego. Et c'est ça l'ironie de l'ego. We love the negative. Nous adorons le négatif. Because if karma is a natural law, parce que si le karma est une loi naturelle, then like botany. Alors, comme dans de la botanique, you don't say, how dare there be weeds in my garden? Vous ne dites pas, ces dans mon It's your garden. C'est votre jardin. So they're your weeds, baby. Donc, euh, ce sont vos herbes, hein, ma chérie. And you don't say, how, how, why is there no flowers in my garden? Because you know it's your garden. Parce que vous savez que votre jardin. Whereas we don't think this life is our life. Mais, par contre, nous ne pensons pas que cette vie soit notre vie. We think some other person made us. Nous pensons que quelqu'un d'autre nous a fait. And threw us into this nightmare. Et nous a jeté dans ce cauchemar. With no cause. Qui a pas de cause. So of course we don't ask why good things happen or bad things that happen for that matter. Et, et donc bien sûr que nous n'allons pas demander pourquoi les bonnes choses arrivent ou les mauvaises choses. Hein. Yeah. So of course, yes. The children deserve. You know, one time one a cop and one woman was in a wheelchair and heard about karma. She was in tears. She said, "You mean I deserve this?" Et un jour, une femme, un copain, donc, elle était dans un fauteuil roulant et elle était en pleurs en entendant les enseignements et, et elle a posé la question, mais vous voulez dire que j'ai mérité ma situation I said, yes, you deserve your beauty, your kindness, your goodness, your wish to practice the spiritual path, your friends, your medical care. Yes, you deserve it. And she understood. Et je lui ai répondu, oui. Tu as mérité hein, ta bonté, ta générosité, ta patience, ton souhait de pratiquer un chemin spirituel, le fait d'avoir euh, et euh, de, de ta santé qui est euh, assurée, dont on s'occupe, etc. Oui, tu as mérité tout ça. It is utterly fascinating to us. That, I mean, I say it in all these years, no one's ever asked me the question, why do good things happen? Ever. No, never, 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 ever. C'est vraiment complètement fascinant, mais depuis toutes ces années que j'enseigne, il n'y a jamais eu quelqu'un, il n'y a jamais eu une seule personne qui ait posé la question pourquoi est-ce que les And all this is showing us. Et tout ce que ça nous montre, ça, is the depth of attachment. C'est la profondeur. So when attachment gets what it wants. De l'attachement. Alors donc, quand l'attachement tient ce qu'il veut. Attachment is a greedy vampire. L'attachement est comme ce vampire avide. It's the assumption. C'est le présupposé. That I had better get what I want every second. Ben, que vaut mieux que j'obtienne ce que je veux à chaque instant. And I deserve it. Et je le mérite. So we take for granted all the good. Et donc, on va prendre pour acquis toutes les bonnes choses qui nous arrivent. And then aversion, when attachment doesn't get what it wants. Mais ensuite, l'aversion, quand l'attachement ne tient pas ce qu'il veut. How dare that bad thing happen. Comment cette mauvaise chose ose-t-elle m'arriver à moi. That's how we all, that's, that's called samsara. C'est ça qu'on appelle le samsara. Whereas if we started delighting in our good qualities, delighting in the virtue that we've practiced in the past, delighting in our good life, we'd be blissed out. Alors que si nous commencions à nous réjouir de nos bonnes qualités, de toutes nos, les vertus que nous avons dû faire dans le passé, alors on serait plein de félicité. Just sitting here in this room now, le simple fait assis we don't assis think maintenant. anything's happening. Donc nous, nous pas qu y ait quoi que ce soit qui so we don't ask why are we sitting here peacefully in this room? How, why is a good is is it pleasant and warm and cozy and the nice dinner out there? We don't ask that. We take it for granted. Et donc on va pas poser la question, mais pourquoi est-ce que je me retrouve assis dans une pièce, dans cette pièce ici paisiblement avec de la chaleur et un bon dîner qui m'attend? But if some guy walks in and starts shouting and yelling and throwing things, you all have a panic attack and then, oh why did that happen? 
Mais s'il y a un type qui entre et qui commence à tirer sur tout le monde en criant, euh, et alors on va être avoir un accès de panique et on va euh, se demander mais pourquoi est-ce que ça arrive Every second something is happening. Donc à chaque instant il y a quelque chose. What we're experiencing passe. at this second Ce dont nous faisons is, a, is second the fruit of our past virtue. Et le fruit de notre vertu du passé. The fact that it's reasonably warm. Donc, le fait you know, fasse things are all work fairly comfortable. Que les sont dinner comfortable outside. Que nous, qu y a le qui nous But we don't think anything. We just take it for granted because attachment is junkie that is craving it all the time and assumes it's our right to get it. Hmm. That's why it's so important that the Lamas all say we should rejoice. But it kind of sounds like Pollyanna, you know. Do you talk about Pollyanna? Kind of goody goody, little goody good, goody girl. Right? There's a, what's the story about Pollyanna? Vicky, what is it? Do you know about Pollyanna's history? What is the story? Oh, okay, Pollyanna is like this story, always saw the best, you know, always happy and perky and everything's wonderful. So you sometimes joke about, oh, God, don't be Pollyanna. But this is what rejoicing should be, blissing out at all the good things. And so, well, Pollyanna, it's her story, it's this young girl who sees the good in everything. But it's exactly like that we should be, to be happy and to have a lot of happiness. But this is the irony of ego. Look at our minds. We always run to the negative. Never enough. Just not enough. No matter how much we get, it's not enough. Whatever we achieve, it's not enough. Our job isn't good enough. I'm not fat enough. I'm too thin. I'm not this. Always never enough. We always run to the dark side, run to the, run to the negative side, don't we? His ego does that. So we've got to make effort. Et to see the good and to notice it bon and to delight, you know. The fact that we're still alive and not dead yet is already enough to make us bliss out. So we have to practice that. Or as Lama Yeshi puts it, practice being satisfied. Uh, right. So here, the point about karma is to delight in our past virtue, the fact that anything is going well at all in our lives. It's like a miracle. You go to the bank and get some credit. You, that's because of your generosity. You go home and your husband's still there. That's you're still, you, you, you know, your, your, your non-sexual misconduct is still, your virtuous relationship is still ripening, your good virtue. You, you, the, a person is not burning your house down as a result of your past morality. A person believes your words, it's the past of you're not, of you're not lying, the, the result of not lying. We just, but we take it for granted. Donc, le fait que vous rentriez chez vous et que votre mari soit toujours là et ne vous ait pas quitté, eh bien, ça, c'est le résultat. Et de fait que vous n'ayez pas commis la conduite sexuelle dans vos vies passées, le fait que et on ne vous euh, euh, que votre maison qu'on ait personne n'ait brûlé votre maison, mais ça c'est le fait d'avoir pratiqué l'éthique dans vos vies passées, etc. Mm. Mm. So we delight. Et donc, on, we delight all the food out there. Donc on pense à toute la nourriture là-bas. And we think it's the fruit of our virtue. Et nous pensons que c'est le fruit de notre vertu. Due our past generosity. Et, et, and our past virtue, but dinner has been made. So we eat it with a happy mind. So we can be fat and healthy. So we can carry on listening to the teachings. Develop our marvelous potential. So we can repay the kindness of all these sentient beings. Okay. Tonight, see you tonight. So just I'll let, let's let you know something more. Okay, I'm working on this book of Lama Yeshis right now. Donc, just nearly finished. I'm supposed to get it to wisdom in a few days. And it's this very sweet, short little book on Mahamudra. Commentary of a very short text by the earlier Panchen Lama. 
Chucky Gelson. And it's so sweet. Talking about the, 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 the pure nature of our minds, you know. Mm. So maybe we'll just talk a bit about that tonight. I might read you some or something. Peut-être qu'on en parlera un peu ce soir. Peut-être que je vous en lirai un peu. Passage. 